guys, Larry Savas Because is here. How are you doing today? It's time for our weekend project. So today uh, we will be finishing our project. Last week we were doing uh, this beautiful pom pom uh, from uh, made from super chunky merino wool, and you can see uh, my previous video if you didn't see it before. And today we'll, I will show you how to make a beanie hat and then how to attach the pom pom to this hat. So this is our mini hat in beautiful pink color and you can see it's uh, pretty big, it's gigantic uh, mini hat and you can make it smaller. This one is made from 23 microns uh, super chunky merino wool and you can make it smaller like this and this one I separated uh, merino wool in two parts and this one is much smaller. Uh, it's still pretty uh, chunky and this hat will be your best friend uh, during the upcoming cold days, especially if you live on the, uh, in the northern uh, states of United States. So anyway, uh, I will show you how to do it. Let's get started. Let's get started. So for the hat, uh, that for this hat, I used 23 microns uh, super chunky merino wool. So you can see this uh, head is pretty big and it's very super chunky and uh, I cast on 10 stitches. So remember if you are using a very thick, if you want a very thick head and you're using a thick uh, merino wool then you will need only 10 stitches if uh, you would be doing a little bit uh, smaller head, then what you will do, you will divide the merino wool in two. Like you're taking the regular size super chunky merino wool and you can see the difference. This is divided already. So what you're doing, you are separating it. You're separating it in two parts. And you're doing it until you have enough for your head, which would be half pound of super chunky merino wool divided. If you're using it like this, then you will need one pound. So one pound or half pound, and then you can divide it in two. And uh, at the two ends, you just make a very simple knot like that, and then you will start knitting your hat. Okay, so I have here gray color, super chunky merino wool, uh, and it's divided already. You can see it's much thinner. And uh, don't worry if it will be a little bit thinner and then a little bit uh, thicker in some parts, it's fine. So for this separated uh, or divided uh, chunky knit merino wool, we will uh, cast on 12 stitches. So we uh, start as usual with the slip knot. So make a loop, insert your hand, grab working yarn and pull it out. This is your slip knot or first stitch. And now we will be making a chain, as we usually do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So again, you need to look how thick your yarn is. In most cases, it will be enough 10 stitches. In uh, some cases, when it's thinner, then we will go with uh, at least 11. And it will be enough for your hat. Okay, so we'll go with 11 stitches, chain of 11. Then we will start the first row. So first, insert your hand, grab walking yarn, pull it out. And then we're looking for the next hole over here. We don't use the top, we use bottom. Grab walking yarn, 
pull it out. Again, we don't use this, we use this one. Insert, grab out. Insert, grab out. And this way we're going make the first row of 11 stitches. Here we are. Our first row is ready. And what are we doing now? We are to avoid uh, sewing super chunky head when it's ready, beanie red when it's ready. I'm making it uh, in circle because um, it's kind of hard to uh, make a, uh, a stain that will not be noticeable. So for this reason, I'm making it in circle. So you made your first row, then you put it together. If you watch some of my previous videos, we're making uh, some other products this way. And then you turn it upside down. And what you will be doing, you will be knitting all stitches on a circle. So here is our end of the knitting area here and here. And then you can see this is the last stitch and the working yarn. So what you're doing, you're using the last stitch, grabbing working yarn and pull it out. And this way we have this circle. And this way we don't need to sew the end of the knitting to make a hat. It's a hat already. So now we are making another row. Grab working yarn through every stitch, making a simple knit for the whole row. Here we are. We're at the end again. And uh, here we will actually uh, connect to, uh, this is the tail of the end and this is the last stitch. So what we will do, we will enter the tail inside the last stitch and then make a knot. Insert it back to the next stitch and pull it. There you go and then we will cut it. So we have uh, two rows now and we will make one more row this way around one more row and then we will flip it out, flip it over here this row number three. What are we doing now? Now we're turning to another side like that and we will keep our knitting but we will be doing it on this side because if you keep you can do it this way but this way it will be spreading a little bit wider than we need and for the head we need to go it uh, as a dome or smaller on the top. So what you're doing, this is your last stitch, you just keep knitting on the circle, moving your circle around and doing the same simple knits all the way around. How many rows you will need? You will need only four or six rows because it's so chunky. So a lot of people asking how to add uh, another piece of yarn. So here you see I am out of yarn. So what I'm doing, I'm just making a very simple knot like that. Gently tied it and keep going. So we try to keep your knot on the back of the knitting area. This way it will be inside and you will not really see it. So again, as I said, you will need only four or five rows. 
and for the super chunky merino wool that you didn't divide into we had only uh one two three four five six it was the last one five rows so in this one it might be additional six row we will see but usually it's about five because it's so chunky and big giant stitches and you can see where you started because you still have this loop and this tail this is the beginning so you can see that we are approaching actually the end of our next row okay so what we are doing now okay we've, let's see one two three four five we have five rows what are we doing now now because it's the new row you can see this is little tail showing that it will be a new row what are we doing we will be knitting two together two stitches together every other one so let's see we're taking two stitches together grabbing our walking yarn pull it through so we have two stitches knitted together then the next stitch you are just knitting regularly and next two you are knitting together grab them together and pull walking yarn through them next stitch is knitting normally and then next two we are knitting together next one normally so this way we have seven stitches instead of uh, 11 one two three four five six seven and what are we doing now now this is actually the end uh, basically of your beanie hat uh, project almost so what we're doing we are taking this tail that uh, from the last stitch and we're inserting it in every single stitch around okay so insert it in first second third fourth fifth six and seven and then pull pull gently because merino wool yarn is very gentle yarn it can break so pull gently and when you pull you actually have this beautiful flower like ending of your super chunky hat beanie hat okay you see it and then what you're doing you are inserting this tail inside of this beautiful flower okay you're going inside and then we will go inside the hat with your hand and pull it a little bit more carefully so see you have this beautiful ending then going inside so you can see that we have this little long tail and uh, take your scissors and cut it because we don't need this yarn what you need to do you will need to weave the wave the weave the ends so just find any stitch and go around and inside and then pull this way you will finish it that it will not go anywhere okay so let me show you one more time so you're here inside and you found the stitch that you can uh, attach this tail so go around the stitch and then go inside and then just pull there you go you have this beautiful flower inside too so then you can actually uh, cut it a little bit more and cut those ends where I connected two ends and you can hide them between stitches because it's so bulky uh, it's actually very easy to hide those little ends like that and then turn it inside out and this is your hat
this is your beanie hat this is your tail and again I would suggest to do the same as we did inside uh, find the stitch go around and then inside to secure it and then don't cut it too short I would uh, suggest to just go between stitches and hide it that would be a better way to to do it here you go it's all hidden now and here we have a tail okay here you go so this is your beanie hat it's ready nice chunky and beautiful and what we will do now we will attach our uh, pom-pom and pom-pom we have actually of a different color we have yellow pom-pom and we have pink one so yellow that we uh, t made last week remember and uh, I also made this beautiful and really really big and fluffy pink one this uh, week is for this hat so I will actually show you on this hat on the pink one okay so see I made this uh, really big and fluffy uh, pom-pom for this pinky hat so what are we doing you have these two strings from your pom-pom and what are you doing you are uh, attaching them to one of the stitches here on one side and another string across on another stitch you go inside like that see this way we have it in, uh, across uh, from each other and then what you're doing you are inserting these two strings inside the uh, head top head top of the head and then you we will go inside here we are inside and what are we doing we just tied these two strings together here you go and I would do it this way so that's pretty much it so this is your hat with a big pom-pom and then you can just spread it a little bit more like that so like like that anyway you can buy such yarn at our store because.net and uh, keep watching our tutorials uh, next week we will be making something new I I'm not sure what it is gonna be yet but uh, if you have any suggestions please uh, write us email or give us a call or uh, whatever is more convenient to you and thank you for your comments and uh, for your ideas this was uh, idea of uh, our customers to show this video so stay warm and be cozy